Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the owner of Lily Rose Craft Room. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. If you love crafting tutorials, reviews, tips and tricks, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel and tap the bell to be notified when videos are posted. For today's video, I got an order for a 40 ounce dupe. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So let's get right onto the video. So to start off, everything that I use, I will be linking them down in the description below. If I do happen to forget something, please let me know so I can make sure to add it. I'm using a 40 ounce tumbler from the Stainless Steel Depot. I do have a coupon down below. If you use it and enter your email, you get $10 off and I get $10 off towards my purchase. So it's a win-win situation. This tumbler comes with a metal straw with the silicone attachment to go on the tip of it because I don't know about you, but I don't like drinking from metal straws because it hurts my teeth. So I thought it was pretty cool that they added that little silicone piece to it. And these also come with the handles detached already and it comes with the screw so you're able to reattach it later. I start off prepping my cup by sanding the whole entire tumbler. I get all the glossiness off and this really helps the spray paint really stick onto the cup. Next, I wash the tumbler to get all that sanding debris off and then I'm gonna use a black matte spray paint to spray on the base of the cup. I put my tumbler on a Lazy Susan and then I just turn and I spray paint and if you don't have one of these I highly recommend you get one because it just makes spray painting easier. After my tumbler is dry I transfer it to another area and then I go in and I spray paint the handle of the 40 ounce dupe. So I like to lay it on its back first and then I spray paint it and then once that's dry I flip it over and I do the other side. Next, after everything is dry, I attach the handle to the tumbler only so I could mark around the edges of the handle where the glitter should not be. To be honest, the handles are a little tricky to get on, but once it's in there, you give it a good smack and then it'll slide right in. And for this part, I like to make a little scratch around the handle of the cup, like the top edge and the bottom edge only because I don't want glitter where the handle slides in because it's already snug. So if it's lifted more from the glitter, the handle is not gonna fit right. So I'm just making a mark so I don't put glitter on the inside of where that handle should be. The tool that I'm using is just like a little, um, it's a nail tool, I don't know what it's called, but like the other side, it pushes your cuticles back and um, I'm just using like that little tip of it to trace around the edge of that handle. And once it's done, I just pop that handle back off and you can see the mark and that is where I'm not gonna glitter in because if it's even lifted a little bit, the screws are not going to align right and um, it's just gonna be more difficult to put that handle on. So that is why I make that tracing mark. Next, I'm gonna brush on some Mod Podge on the cup, and this is how I'm going to adhere the glitter on my tumbler. So with the paintbrush, I just brush a even layer, a thin even layer around the whole entire cup. And also remember, I'm not going to put the Mod Podge past that line that we made, that we traced. So I just carefully, with my paintbrush, just brush around it. Next, after the tumbler has been coated in the Mod Podge, I'm going to go in with one of the glitters from my website. It's called Galaxy, and this is a black, fine holographic glitter. So first, I'm only going to do the edge only because the edges dry really fast. And then after, I'm going to go in with Unicorn Nightmare. And this is a chunky mix version of the Galaxy. So it's the same color, except this one is chunkier. So I like to hold my cup at an angle and then sprinkle from up high that way I get that perfect ombre and then I just go in and fill in that bottom and then after I fill in that bottom I go in again with the galaxy glitter and like I said since this is the same color I just go in and I just sprinkle everything with glitter and I even sprinkle the bottom that way the little fine areas get filled in next after my glitter has been applied I just take my finger and just tap the, the chunky parts of the glitter that are sticking up and this just makes it easier when you're sanding it 
Um, that way there's not so many glitters just sticking up. And then you just wanna do this until all that glitter is laying flat. Next, I'm gonna go outside and spray the whole entire tumbler with a clear rust -Oleum. I'm using matte, it doesn't matter if you use glossy or matte, I've used both. And this is just to keep the glitter in place before you epoxy it. Now, before we epoxy the tumbler, I'm gonna attach the handles. So you wanna make sure the screw holes are facing the bottom, and that is the way you're going to attach it. I chose not to glitter the handle, just personal preference. It's already chunky enough, and I feel like just adding the glitter is gonna make the handle even more chunky. So I opted out for um, the glitter on the handle. Next, you're just going to screw on the two little screws that your tumbler came with. Next, we are going to apply epoxy to the tumbler. I am using Aluma Light's Quick Coat Epoxy, and I do have a link down in the description below. It's code Lily10, and you do get 10% off. And I'm using a total of 30 mLs, so 15 of part A and 15 of part B. I start off with the epoxy on the handle first, just to make sure the whole entire handle is coated, and then I move on to the rest of the tumbler. I make sure the whole entire tumbler has an even coat all over. After that, I give it a couple passes with a heat torch to pop any micro bubbles. So using the Alumalite Quick Coat Epoxy, it's dry in about four hours, so I'm able to do a second coat really quick. So this time I am using a total of 20 ml. So I'm using 10 of part A and then 10 of part B for the second coat. So you just wanna make sure you spread the epoxy out evenly throughout the whole entire cup. And right after you wanna hit it with a heat torch to pop any micro bubbles. So this is the next day um, after the epoxy has been cured. I take a piece of sandpaper and I just sand along the rim of the cup to take off all that roughness and make it smooth. After we're done sanding the top rim of the cup, we move on to the bottom of the tumbler. And we just want to sand and um, get all that roughness off from the edge of the cup. When you use chunky glitter, it does get a little bit bumpy. So I'm just using my palm sander. It's um, a little machine that vibrates, so it's easier to sand. That way you're not like really putting so much force um, as you would with a piece of sandpaper. So I just go along like the chunkiness of the tumbler or the chunkiness of the glitter, and then just keep going around until the whole entire tumbler is nice and smooth. After I'm done sanding the tumbler, I take it to the sink and I wash it with soap, and then I also clean it with alcohol just to get any of like the sanding dust off. And since this is a custom tumbler, they did want a name on it and um, other little decals that they requested. So this is what I'm gonna do now, just apply the decals that they wanted. So next is another layer of epoxy. So again, I'm using a total of 20 mLs of the amazing Quick Coat. So 10 of part A and then 10 of part B. And I did add a little tiny scoop of my epoxy additive Twilight. And this is a very fine micro glitter and it just mixes really good with the epoxy and it gives your cup an extra sparkle. So I'm just gonna lather that all over the tumbler and just make sure that the whole entire tumbler is evenly coated. And after the epoxy is applied, right after I go over it with the heat torch and pop any micro bubbles on the tumbler. After that last layer of epoxy, I gave it one more coat of a total of 10 mLs, and here is the finished look. I think it came out so pretty. I just love how beautiful that black holographic glitter shines. And um, to be honest, the only tricky part of it was the handle. This is one of the first handle cups I made, so I'm really happy the way it turned out. If you watched this video to the end, thank you so much. Show me by putting butterflies in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because it really helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.